In a Nate on Your Side exclusive, a new mission to increase representation within the U.S. military. Out of the current 45 highest ranking commanders, 42 are white males. And that's where McDill Air Force and the AIM High program come in. Our Jennifer Pinante boarded a special flight with a group of students to show us the impact of this new recruiting effort. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, well, describing this as an eye-opening experience is quite the understatement. The students from Cristo Rey, Tampa Salesian High School, met the Defense Department's only four-star female general before taking part in a training mission, which left them with a lot to consider once back on the ground. An adrenaline rush in a sky-high view of what's achievable. To understand the magnitude of this experience, we take you back to the start. At a bright 0700 hours at McDill Air Force Base, a special mission gets underway. To increase diversity in the ranks of the Air Force by giving high school students quite the ride. To kick it off, a dose of inspiration from our nation's only four-star female general, Jacqueline Van Ovost. But I had to see the possibilities. I can't be what you can't see, and this is the possibility. She led the way for female pilots climbing the ranks for 30 years, logging 4,000 hours of flight time in 30 different aircraft. Come on now, here we go. <laughs> the general's words resonating with the five minority students from Cristo Rey Tampa Salesian High School on this KC 135. Just because we're minorities, we're females, it doesn't matter. We still are capable of doing anything any man can do. Yeah, I realize that it's more than just flying planes. That's the target message for McDill's first aviation mentorship inspire program, or AIM High. And when we have a better, stronger, more inclusive team, we're a, a top-notch warfighting unit. This training mission is also crucial for the teachers who organize this. If they're not aware of the specific, um, you know, industries in which they can go into, it's a loss. So we board, strap in, and up we go. A 300 miles an hour flight from McDill to Tennessee, exploring the cockpit. And finally, what these aspiring medical students have been waiting to experience, the boom pit. Literally opening doors for students 28,000 feet up in the air. To refuel a C-17 out of Charleston, South Carolina, 30 feet away from our plane. An incredible first time ever flight experience for some. I'm not nervous, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not nervous, but I'm nervous. After a 20 minute refuel in a two hour long flight back home, we're back on the base with some future pilots. I just thought in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna do this one day. It was a flight that proved the sky is limitless. A lot of skill to fly just 30 feet away from another massive aircraft and be incredibly precise to refuel it in mid-flight. The boom pilot connects, pumps gas and disconnects every two minutes for about 20 minutes. These students walked away with so much admiration for the pilots. Jennifer Pignate, eight on your side. Brave for them, brave for Jen to go yeah. up there with them, but it kind of makes you want to. Really cool. If I could roll back the clock, I want to start over and yeah. do it. Don't you want to participate? Pilot something? Maybe. <laughs> Still ahead tonight. Ready